The Lagos State government says it will continue to seek the continuous support of the young people as it embarks on the review of the state youth policy. Permanent Secretary of the State Ministry of Youths and Sports Development, Tony Oke Osaitulu, who was represented, said this at a stakeholders meeting on the revised policy. The stakeholders, including the Inspired Youth Network with support from Action Aid, collaborated on development policies and programs that will improve the lives of young of the youth with the aim of transitioning the policy from the 15 thematic areas to five pillars. This meeting is organized to critically assess the current youth policy by identifying major gaps, challenges, and its impact as we transcend from the current existing thematic areas of the five pillars and trade in the revised national youth policy. This meeting is also to examine the integration, support, and active involvement of all relevant ministries, departments, agents, youth organizations, private sector, the civil society, and the public in articulating and addressing issues concerning youth development. The last one was done in 2016. So that's and it should be a five-year document. So it's due for for a review. And then you know, so many things have happened to the young people. Young people are a, a tremendous resource for the state and the nation. And so many things have happened in this in the age of COVID era and also answers. So there are gaps in that the previous documents that we need to look at. And you see, and the, our governor, Mr. Governor, has uh, changed the thing to things plus now. So with an emphasis on young people and the youth. So it's very important that we have a, a current working document. The review, the review process aims to ensure that the policy reflects the needs and aspirations of young people, as it also seeks to create an enabling environment that supports young people's aspirations and empowers them to reach their full potential. Team lead for the Inspired Youth Network, Oluwatoi Adejokun, harped on the importance of collaborating with young people to drive the vision of the state. In the breakout session, the participants provided valuable input on the challenges faced by the young people people in Lagos State and identify some areas of for improvement in the existing youth policy. You know, this program is actually important because we are getting input from young people from different areas and aspects of um, Lagos State to come and give us or tell us their gaps, the challenges in the um, pre um, previous um, youth policy and then so that we can impute it into the new policy that is being done so that it can be inclusive and it can be um, goal driven so that it can benefit the young people in Lagos State. And also my goodwill to young people is to make sure that when this policy is done let us all have this policy because before now I discovered that young people are not aware of youth policy. Layman, ordinary young people in the street don't even know what youth policy is all about. They don't even have the understanding of youth policy but after this I want everybody to raise their consciousness on this youth policy, read it, digest it, start working towards implementing it. Um, development is um, critical and important when young people are considered and are a part of it and because of that we have discovered that to strengthen sh um, social justice reforms for young people we need to be able to ensure that we have policies uh, that are inclusive and that speak to their needs and interests and in the course of that we discovered that uh, some states uh, don't have state youth policies uh, uh, but Lagos State as one of the progressive states in the country uh, had a state youth policy which had uh, long been due for a review. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.